Hi everyone, I'm Arier, and this is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series, episode 32. Now, before we go on, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who sent me the link to episode 31 on Team Four Star's website. It was a huge help, and I'm not sure I thanked you guys enough last time around, because I was really tired when I did it, but it was so freaking funny. <laughs> thank you guys again for helping me find that video. And now I know if there's any other time where YouTube decides, hey, yeah, screw you guys, I'll be like, well, now I know where to fuck off to, Team Four Star's website. Also, I swore, demonetized. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> but again, this is going to be... Oh, I actually forgot where we left off. That That's weird. Usually I have like a perfect memory of all the stupidity. Oh, wait, we were on Meta Humor, the show. I'm okay with that. But, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this. I was actually going to record this a few days ago, and then I got called into work. Overnight. Twice. Yeah. That's so all I was saying. This is going to be episode 32 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series, and yeah, I just want to write it into this because it's just funny, man. Also, some of the names are getting really weird on the title, so yeah. Let's see what we got this time around. Let's get started. Star Trek? Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Mr. Worf, dispatch a subspace message to Admiral Hudson. <gasps> we have engaged... The oh, ancient Egyptian oh, phaser beam. All you know is how to play it safe. If you can't make the big decisions, Commander, then <laughs> I suggest you make room for someone who can. Taya? We. <laughs> Yummy! Ow, my hair! <laughs> oh, 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 I am rich. God. We can generate a concentrated burst of power really? at the same Taya? frequency distribution. No, Taya, how do we do that? Sister. The main deflector dish. Tristan! Locutus of Borg. Gah! From this time forward, I you just... will service us. What? Mr. Worf. Fire. And now the conclusion. Okay. I can't believe I gotta say this, but... I, I really want to see a Star Trek abridged now. I, I, is there a Star Trek abridged? Please, someone, for the love of God, tell me there's a Star Trek abridged and leave the link right down there. Please tell me that. I did not know I wanted that, and now I... it The lip flaps matched. I mean, yeah, he does that normally in the actual animated show, but that's easier because in an animated show, it's just mostly opening and closing. Matching up lip flaps for live-action dialogue is not easy, and they did it and also yeah tristan was a little kid ah tristan was a oh god i forgot his name it's been so long since i watched next generation that i actually forgot his name little annoying kid who's good at everything uh mary sue man yeah yeah i'm sorry i'm blown away by that that was that was so freaking cool <laughs> way to go little karibo yu gi -Oh, the abridged series Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, no. a tale of a fateful trip. Master Merrick, we should be arriving in Domino City in approximately four episodes. <laughs> Excellent. That gives us time for at least one children's card game. By the way, from now on, I want you to call me the Skipper. And you, you can be Gilligan. Oh, as God. You wish, Master Merrick. Excellent. Now to awaken the newest addition to the family, Steve. Dude. Dude, I can Rise care. and shine, my little mind puppet. Oh my god, it's a mind. Dude, I only just realized, Pharaoh, but you haven't got a reflection. Is there something you're not telling me? He's Yugi, not actually an there. ancient spirit living inside your body. Of course I don't have Don't a... lie to me. You're a vampire, aren't you? It's the <laughs> middle of the day. Oh, well, that proves <laughs> nothing. I never should have let you read Twilight. Oh read god! Once again, for the first time, Pharaoh. Merrick, you coward. Why do you keep using innocent bystanders as pawns in your deadly game? Is that innocent? Him? Are you kidding me? Have you seen this guy? He's got piercings all over his body. You've got to be pretty f***ed up to agree to something like that. Oh, He's God. still a human being. He's also a mime. Oh, in that case, yeah, I'll kick his ass. Wonder <laughs> <laughs> Form of 
He's Attention also a mime. Homosexual. Now, Marek, I shall take control of Yugi's <laughs> body to defeat you in a children's card game. Oh, right, because when I take control of somebody to make them play a card game, that's pure evil. But when you do it, it's like your mother friggin' Teresa. Jeez, this guy is nothing but a whiny teenager with magical powers. He's Harry Potter, that's who he is. <laughs> well, why don't you just suck blood from his neck, Nosferatu? <laughs> Interesting. My Gator has led me to this museum. Gator. I hope it's not another false alarm. <laughs> the last time this happened, it was at a Kevin Spacey autograph <laughs> signing, and everybody knows he's as straight as a die. I like that word, die. Oh, mighty giant rock. Sometimes I think you are the only one who truly understands me. Gator's this, working. I sense an evil presence approaching. Well, Egypt I lasers. I not want to get involved with the plot, so I think I'll just go hide. Such a powerful source of gay Wait, energy. Seriously? And it's mine for the taking. Oh, blast. I knew I should have recharged the batteries before I left the house <laughs> this morning. Hmm? Ah, this is no ordinary giant rock. It's also a giant plot device. And yep. very soon I shall use it to destroy the Pharaoh and everything he holds dear. Give or take a few hundred episodes. You call yeah. yourself a Pharaoh, but you don't even know how to use your power. That's why destiny has chosen me to take it from you. Yeah, what watch that power trailer. are you talking about? Foolish fool. I'm talking about the power to look good in leather that power belongs to me and me alone and maybe and sync but mostly to me and i won't let you take it without a fight we'll see how strong oh. you are when you're trapped inside my nightmare steel oh, cage yeah <sighs> it was scary as fire rage, i am still just a rat in a cage and now I really the egyptian god card, really? Slifer, the executive producer <sighs> not steve Holy mumra! Wait, what? Look at the size of that thing! It makes Kaiba's ego look positively minuscule. <laughs> Coward oh, here, geez. Pharaoh, because Slifer is going to executive produce the crap out of you. Oh, Joey, geez. what's the matter with you? You haven't played a card game in one whole episode. You yep. gotta get back in the game, man. No, from now on, I only duel minor characters from season one. That's how I roll. But Joey... That is how I roll, Tristan. What the hell's going on here? I specifically requested that Joey Wheeler be banned from my tournament. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> must have up big time. <laughs> hey, Kaiba, you're a minor character from season one. Ooh. How about a duel? There wasn't a single word you just said that didn't make me want to kill you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mr. Kaiba, our scanners have detected that an Egyptian god card has been summoned somewhere in the city. The fuck? If you climb on board, we'll take you to the signal's location. And now I have a boner. You're finished, oh. Pharaoh. Okay. Every card I have in my hand, Slifer's attack power increases. And with my revival jam in play, you can't hope to touch my life points. Now I play the card of safe return, which allows yeah. me to draw three more cards every time my revival jam is sent to the graveyard. It's your move. Yugi. <laughs> what do I you know something, Marrick? Dueling you is like playing on the Nintendo Wii. It got boring after about five minutes. Science! Ooh. Soon you will be crushed. Burn. People all over the place will marvel at my leather-clad tushy. Run, coward. He's right. How can I hope to defeat an Egyptian god card? Quit With your With another sniddle, card? Yugi. Huh? Just because this guy has an Egyptian god card, it doesn't mean he's going to win. You and I both know that there's more to card games than having the most powerful monsters. A true like what? duelist doesn't rely on his cards alone. If you want to win this match, you're gonna have to take a page out of my book and screw the rules. <laughs> He's right, and I know just how to do it. I'll use brain control to take control of his revival jam. Now, every time Slifer destroys my revival jam monster, he'll be forced to draw three new cards. And when revival jam returns to the field, Slifer's special ability means it has to attack any new monster that appears, starting the whole process over again. This will continue until he no longer has any cards left in his deck, rendering me the winner by default. Okay, I gotta ask, is that actually a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I play Magic and that is a viable way to win. It happens all the time. Freaking infinite comp of fucking bullshittery. Seriously? Seriously? Actual? I thought he was actually going to cheat, but that seems like a viable combo.
fault, Yugi. You took advantage of a glaring flaw in the Duel Monsters rulebook. Truly, you are an honorable duelist. Fools! It doesn't matter if you take Sly for the executive producer. For yes, it does. I have an even stronger god card up my sleeve. Soon I shall arrive in Domino City, well, where my Steve episodes. squad is already preparing to capture your beloved Steve. friends, Taya, Tristan, and Joey. And don't bother trying to find them, for they are masters of disguise. Damn it! I have to save my friends. See, Mokuba, this is why I don't let you have friends. <laughs> Make it taken too, yeah. Ooh! God damn you, little Karibo! Cool on a motorcycle. <laughs> I haven't seen my balls, they're big and salty and brown. <laughs> Pick me up, just stick my balls in your mouth. Ooh, <laughs> suck on my chocolate salted balls. Stick them in your mouth and suck them. Oh my god! Suck on my chocolate salted balls. They're fat full of vitamins and good for you. So suck on my balls. Uh, 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 uh. Dude. Oh my god. That ending song. Um Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe and then he just and that was That was a real song. Oh my god. You know, I was gonna talk about how that opening section was awesome or Kaiba giving a pep talk, which probably actually happened, was kind of hilarious in my opinion. Or even just, you know, blatantly abusing the rules in a way that as a Magic player, I am completely well aware of and have done many times, even though I will still call it out on anyone else as bullshit. It, it, it's only a little hypocritical. I'm going to ignore that part. But that ending song, man. Oh my god. Just, oh my god. It's all the same, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later.